Well, here's an interesting headline that's come out in the Ghislaine Maxwell case. Mediaite.com, left-wing website, left-wing blog, Ghislaine Maxwell ends fight to keep John Doe names sealed. Oh, that's interesting because I remember when I talked about the Epstein Network names being sealed, that Newsweek and everybody else was running up and saying, oh, Posobiec, you know, that, that, that's not what happened. Those names aren't sealed. Don't talk about those names. No, he's conflating this case and that case. I, look, I understand the situation. The names of the Epstein Network are sealed. I didn't say that the jury ruled that they should be sealed. My point was that we, the public, have a right to understand what exactly was going on in the highest, I've said this on every single episode of this program where I've talked about Ghislaine Maxwell. I said, look, we need to know who was involved with this thing. Why have they not been charged if they were involved in this? And you can go to Mediate right here. It says, Prosecutors described this as Epstein's pyramid scheme of sexual abuse of minor girls. Okay, if this was a pyramid scheme, then who were the other people involved? Because we can see people like Jean-Luc Brunel, who has been charged, Ghislaine Maxwell, who has been charged. Brunel, of course, was a French model recruiter. He was uh, Epstein's procurement guy from Europe. Then we've got Maxwell, the procurement uh, madam from the United States. What's going on? Who were the people procured for? Who were these girls, these victims procured for? Who was the pyramid scheme with? Was there blackmail involved in this? Why were these people all putting their money in with Epstein to have him manage them despite no you know, acumen or background in this? That's what we're talking about. Some of the highest names, the biggest names in Western academia, Western finance, Western business, and even Western government, not to mention Hollywood, Kevin Spacey, What's going on? Explain to us what's going on. That's why it's important that the names come out and we know that the names of this pyramid scheme have been continued to be sealed. One of them, by the way, that has come out is of course Prince Andrew, who was just stripped of his official title. So now in his lawsuit against Virginia Jaffre, who is the victim that's been suing him in terms of all of this, really one of the first victims to come out and get the ball rolling in terms of all of this, he's got to now face that as a private citizen, someone who's literally a member of the royal family, the second son of Queen Elizabeth. So listen to the, one of the lawyers in this situation, Gloria Allred, describe that case and Virginia Jaffray. The prince is gonna be in a world of hurt, in a world of trouble, not comfortable to have to sit there and answer questions in this lawsuit, which is alleges that he was sexually inappropriate with uh, Virginia when she was only 17. Now here's the Mediate story. Virginia Jaffray's request to unseal documents that name names in her since settled civil lawsuit against Ghislaine Maxwell, which led to a lengthy and ongoing open records battle. In December of last year, Manhattan jury in Maxwell's trial returned guilty verdicts. Uh, Maxwell faces federal charges by, under violations of the Mann Act and sexual trafficking of a minor for her role as Epstein's longtime confidant and now convicted accomplice. Depending on what lies underneath the redactions, the unsealed information could make waves inside the same courthouse and around the world. In a legal brief, and this is interesting, Jeffrey filed on Wednesday, Jeffrey requested that the judge unseal the names of the John Doe's currently kept out of the public eye, in part due to their complaints about dis how disruptive the media attention would be in their lives. But this is what's very interesting, Maxwell had previously fought against the unsealing of the legal names of the John Doe's revealed in the still, still sealed court documents. But a letter from her lawyer dated January 12th notes that Maxwell, quote, does not wish to further address detailed objections submitted by non-party Doe's 1753, 55, 73, 93, and 151. So who were those John Doe's? And the full letter is here. Understand what's going on. Each of the listed John Doe's has counsel who have ably asserted their own respective privacy rights. Ms. Maxwell therefore leaves it to this court to conduct the appropriate review consistent with the order and protocol for unsealing decided motions. You gotta understand, when it comes to sealed documents, privacy concerns obviously play a role, but if you've got a situation 
where someone was involved in the commission of a crime, specifically the crime we're talking about here, child rape, that's something where the court has to take that into consideration as well. Because once that comes out, then prosecutors and from the civil side, attorneys and victims can then take action based on those court documents. So pretty much it comes down to this. Ghislaine Maxwell, she hasn't named names. And I told her, I said earlier on this program, I said, Ghislaine, you need to cut a deal. Do the right thing. Finally, after all these years and after so much pain and anguish and torture that you have been at the hands of, turn it around. Do the right thing. Be the person that says, now it all stops. I'm going to flip and I'm going to come out and tell the truth and name the name. So maybe, just maybe, we're getting a glimmer of that. This is Charlie Kirk, founder and CEO of Turning Point USA. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Turning Point USA.